Now that you're done with your drawing, now we're getting ready for printing. From the start, in your model space, you always work scale one and one with your drawing. But when it comes to your text, it may be that you're going to work with different viewports, one and hundred, one and fifty, one and twenty. So the text that you've entered, is there's only one set of text, but if I go to my sheet to give you a preview, as you can see, I've created two viewports. The one is one and a hundred, and the other viewport is one and fifty. And if you look at the text, you will see that the text size differ. The simple reason for it is, in my model space, because my model space is set to show my annotation scale finishes of one and a hundred, I haven't set it yet to display a set of one and fifty as well. So what we're going to do is now, I'm just going to go back to my model space. I can select my old drawing because now we want to add a 1 and 50 scale to the text. So I'm going to select my drawing and I'm going to ask Gary, just keep my M text selected because that's what I want to make changes to. So now my text is selected, my annotative is switched off. So I'm going to switch on my annotative and then Gary will ask us your annotation scales. So I'm going to click on the option and as you can see, there's only one set of annotation finishes at the moment and that's at the scale 1 and 100. So I'm going to ask Gary, let's add a 1 and 50 set as well. So I'm going to say update, and if I now press R for regen, press escape, and I go to sheet number 1, as you can see it updated my viewport, because your viewport is only a window that looks at your model space. If you zoom in, as you can see, on my left hand side, the text size match with my viewport on the right hand side, even if there's two different scales involved in the viewport. Now to set up your sheet, I'm just going to make use of sheet number 2. If you zoom out a bit, you will see that Caddy will give you an A4. So you can right click on your sheet tab, you go to sheet setup, you're going to select your printer. Now, depends on your printer, you will have a plottable area, just make sure that your drawing is inside this boundary. I'm going to select the PDF 995 because I know the boundary is at the edge of the paper. Paper size is A4, it's going to be landscape and I'm going to ask Gary to make use of a monoplot style. So I'm going to say OK, so everything will print black except where I used RGB full. So if I go back to my model space, and now we're going to take your drawing to your sheet. So you're going to select the content. There's more than one way to create a viewport. This is the quick and fastest way. You're going to select the content that you want to take to your sheet. You're going to right click and you're going to ask Gary, add to sheet, create viewport. So you click on the command, picks up that there's two sheets. I know we've set up sheet number two. I'm going to say OK and Gary will ask us, scale for viewport. Now, as you can see, I'm going to make use of one and a hundred. And as you can see on the right hand side, my annotation scales, one and hundred, that's what I want. You can select a specific uh, layer if you would like to place it on a layer, otherwise it will be on your default layer. I'm going to say OK, and as you can see, it gives me a preview of my viewport, and now I can place my viewport. I'm going to press Escape, R for Regen, and now we just have to print. Now when it comes to your printing, all you have to do is you're going to go File, Print. It picks up your settings of your sheet, PDF, your A4, my monoplot style and I'm going to say preview and as you can see if I left click it allows me to zoom in once the plot style is set to print in black although I did make use of a RGB color the red and the green because I want that to be plottable so now you can just say print and Gary will ask you to save the file